Well, this is quite concerning. Let's begin. Well, of course, quite often when we hear that people are on strike, we think, oh, God, not again. How much do they want now? And what days can I not travel at train or send letters on or whatever the case may be? But this time, it's not just an insignificant problem because people's lives could actually be at risk with these people who are striking this time if this story from ITV News is anything to go by. Well, pay me what I want. Then I will come back to work and I will save lives. Well, did you know that I heard that if you click the subscribe button down there, it will actually give you superpowers so you can save other people's lives? Honest. The article says that some 999 call handlers around the UK will join BT workers and openreach engineers going on strike on Thursday in a long-running dispute over pay. The CWU said in previous strikes it was agreed that the 999 call handlers would be exempt, but it added that after widespread outage, the company's refusal to negotiate with union representatives, these workers will now be joining their company's colleagues. Which means that around 30,000 openreach engineers and 10,000 BT call centre workers have already taken industrial action, and further strikes are planned for October the 10th, 20th and 24th. Well, do you know what? I think this is absolutely disgusting. It's kind of like them saying, oh, um, that didn't work, but what we'll do, we'll up the ante by getting 999 call centre workers there. Therefore, they won't actually be able to answer calls from people who are in an emergency because obviously 999 is an emergency number isn't it and this could actually have a knock-on effect couldn't it to other emergency services and from what I've seen online the average 999 call handler wage is between 25 and 35 thousand pounds a year which I don't know about you but that's a lot better than my wage and I'm not striking and at the end of the day I don't know if it's just me but I would think that saving people in an emergency situation and trying to get them connected with the service they need should really take priority over any strikes and they still should not be included in them. The union said the strikes are in opposition to BT Group's imposition of an incredibly low flat rate pay rise of... £1,500, which is described as a dramatic real terms pay cut because of soaring inflation. BT management clearly has no appreciation for its workforce or their social value, but this union does, and we will keep on fighting this company's attempt to plunge its workers into even further hardship. Incredibly low, £1,500 paying pay rise. I don't know about you, but I'd love my boss to give me a £1,500 paying pay rise. I mean, I don't know what I'd have to do to get it, which kind of worries me. But anyway, they kind of remind me of the people in this video who seem determined to bring the whole country down to a halt. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.